We don't actually know if supermassive black hole binaries merge. Welcome to the final parsec problem. On this channel, I talk a lot about the gravitational wave background, which we think is likely produced by supermassive black hole binaries. So we expect that most galaxies have a supermassive black hole at their center, like our very own Sagittarius A star. When galaxies merge, it's expected that these two black holes will interact with each other. Now, when we use simple modeling and simulations, we find that through interactions with gas and stars, in the galaxies, they're able to get closer and closer to each other to form a binary until they get to the final parsec. Now, one parsec is about three light years. So these two black holes get near to each other and are orbiting each other, but are still stuck at more than three light years apart. This is not close enough to emit gravitational waves. So therefore we would not see any gravitational waves generated by supermassive black hole binaries in the universe. Not to worry, there are lots of potential solutions and theories that have been come up with to solve this problem. People think that the models and simulations we've done are too simple and that realistic galaxies have more complicated structure in their dust and gas that will allow the black hole binaries to get closer. And people also think that dark matter could allow the galaxies to get closer. There's been papers written about ultra light dark matter, cold dark matter, and self-interacting dark matter, allowing black holes to cross this final parsec. If we definitively measure a gravitational wave background and can prove that it's produced by supermassive black hole binaries, we will not only show that the final parsec problem has been definitively solved, but we may be able to probe the physics that allowed that to happen. Seeing that supermassive black hole binaries have got close enough to cross that final parsec could allow us to probe physics of dark matter.